This is my laptop, the Acer V3572G-543S. I've had it for about a year now. Pre-ordered it when uh, it was up on Newegg, and uh, they had a pretty good deal on it. I was just shutting it down, doing its updates. It's got Windows 10 on it, so it sort of makes you do the updates. Uh, I don't always see that as being the get best option. Sometimes the updates are bad. At least that's been my experience in uh, previous versions of Windows. But we will see. Alright, well, first thing was to shut it down. And this laptop is different than any laptop I have seen before. And I used to do laptop repairs, so I've seen quite a few laptops. But on the bottom of here, which is your, your usual thing to see, there'll be some sort of a, a panel that you can take off to upgrade your RAM or something like that, or even, uh, you know, different panels. This is just all one piece. There's no separate panels to take anything off. The one good thing is that you can take the battery out. I've seen some newer ones that you can't even do that. You have to unplug it from the inside. All right, well, I'm going to pause the video at the different points where I'm going to actually do something, since I'm using my phone to do this. And, uh, well, here we go. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is take out all the, the little screws here. We've got a bunch of them in here. And I'll just drop them onto a little refrigerator magnet to keep them all together. Okay. All right, well, I've taken all of the screws out or at least all of the screws that I'm going to. Uh, I've had this thing apart twice previously, or at least mostly apart. Uh, one thing that happened, oddly enough, the first time I took it apart, the screw that goes into this little hole here, the backing part of it broke off so the screw didn't come out, but it really doesn't hold anything. And the same thing happened to the opposite one over here, the second time I took it apart. Oddly enough, it's not really a, a critical place to have a screw, so I don't really worry about it. I think the, I lost that one, and that one's just still in there. Of course, I took the battery out, and all of the screws are out. So now, I'm going to flip this over. And... Oh, yeah, grab my little tool set here. And I've got a little uh, phone tool set. So on these, you have to pry up around the edge to pop the little clips that hold the top down. And I will do that now. Once you have that off, the top lifts up, and you have a couple of ribbon cables you got to disconnect. This one has three. Originally, it had four. Funny story. There's a. Let's see over right here. There is a uh, a clip here. This originally had a lighted keyboard. I had to replace it and it was easier than going through the manufacturer. Just pull these ribbon cables out a while. Taking care, kind of fragile. So anyway, the one I got wasn't lighted and was missing that last ribbon cable. So that's the top there. If by chance you need to replace your keyboard, then you would need to take out a couple of these screws. Now that the rivets. There's a couple of screws here. See there, there, there. It's like five or six screws. And then this whole plate will slide and then pull out. And then there's uh, some metal tape underneath here. 
kind of see it here. And you just have to peel that off. There's some there. And then the keyboard will pretty much come right out. I think you might even have to take this piece off of here. I think that's a power button. Yeah, power button. Alright, but I'm not doing that today. Today, this is a search for the RAM. So as we have this off here, we got the hard drive. And that's the... Uh, dummy block for the DVD or another hard drive which you can put in here can you see that when I get RAM I may just get another hard drive as well but that's your the hard drive that's in here your I think well that's the Wi-Fi card reader this is probably the graphics card area of the motherboard and the processor is probably underneath here because there's a fan on the underside all right well uh, my thought was that it's probably underneath the motherboard which is a silly place to put it but that's what I'm going to look. So, I'm going to pull the screws that I find, which is there, there. That's not a screw. There's got to be more over here. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll look for them and then uh, get back to you. All right. So I had to take a few other things off in order to get the motherboard out. There's a cable over here that connects right over here. The Wi-Fi card had to get, and there's a screw that was in here. A, uh, of course the hard drive had to be, uh, there's a screws and the ribbon cable that was on top of it, pulled that off, and then there was another little tiny cable over here, hooks into here, this little cable over here goes in there, this cable, which I think is the monitor cable, goes there. And I think that was about it that I had to disconnect. And then a little bit of wriggling and jiggling. I finally get it out. And there they are. Yay. The RAM. It's the most inconvenient way, place to put the RAM. Right on the bottom. And yet there was no access port to get to them. That would have been handy. Maybe the uh, engineer forgot? I don't know. But, oh my god, that was just a horrible place to put it. Well, now I can take a picture of it and put this whole thing back together again. Yeah. Alright, well that's all I'm going to do right now. And all else is just going to be reverse order of what I've already done. Altogether, I think it's a pretty nice laptop. It's lightweight, uh, has performs fairly well. I myself do 3D animation, and I've been peeking out the RAM quite a bit. So getting more RAM is just going to make my life so much easier. This particular laptop comes with 8 gigabytes, and supposedly is upgradable to 16. Which is, I think, kind of nice. Usually, they are whatever they come with. They're usually uh, upgradable to double what they come with. Uh, and I may just get another solid state drive to to put in this. Maybe switch out the like it's a terabyte drive there, and then use that drive as a, a secondary hard drive. Just got to clone it first. 
Oh, other than that, everything seems pretty well organized. Alright, well, um, that's all I have for today. See you later.